Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a flip through of my first, like mainly kind of my first creative journal. It is still in process. I started it at the beginning of 2022. Um, I just released in my Etsy store the zine called Inner Temple Building and it has to do with um, one of the processes that I developed while working in this journal as I was going along and I kind of realized what I was doing. Um, so I will go into more detail. I will tell you that um, this was like as I was getting into my journaling journey altogether. So I am not going to be listing a lot of places where I got items like as far as stickers are concerned because I don't know if I'm going to remember a lot of them. Um, so yeah, this is, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is a lecterm, um, paper 120G, uh, notebook that I just picked up at Barnes & Noble. I had, I was using, like, a, when I started this process, I was using a, um, insert for, like, a really inexpensive traveler's notebook and the paper was not holding up well it was actually coming unbound so i upgraded because and i mean look at how chunky it is so i'm very happy with how it's held up so far and i still have a lot of pages left to go so we'll see um how it does but so far i've really liked it um i call this my portals and prayers journal um this is a stamp that I got from a family member and it says walk among these pages with me for here worlds are born. So kind of um, the portals aspect has like a world building um, aspect whether you're doing that as a writer which I am a writer um, but also like from a meditation standpoint which is kind of what my um, zine is about. Um, so then we have this here, um, it's all about affirmations and opening ourselves up to prayer um, with a little envelope and some affirmations inside. And I always have a hard time getting things out, but it says, You are a world builder and universe generator. Trusting yourself is the cheat code to manifestation. Build the cathedral that you want to pray at. Um, so yeah I'm just really this is just like a big journal of inspiration and prayers to myself to ideas um this says I am a vessel I receive messages from the other world I am divinely connected I am a temple messages come through strong and clear I connect to the spirits with a communication um oracle card here um, and birds have always been a big symbol for me. We have a lot of really fun birds that hang out here. Um, this is a spread that I did. It was one of my favorites when I first did it. Um, it is the one of the first like real prayer pages I did. And it was for um, Our Lady, uh, Mother Mary. And I mean, obviously flowers. And we've just, it. I don't know, it just... I really liked how it turned out um and it was after a morning of like praying a full rosary which I don't you know I would do like you know one set of mysteries um but it was still difficult for me um because after having COVID um it was kind of hard for me to like speak that aloud but um yeah I had a special morning before my kiddo got up from school so here we go more affirmations uh these gifts come from the universe i am a vessel a channel to spirit i pray to open myself up to the divine i trust the messages i receive um and you know some introspective journaling here some channeled writing um and then this is kind of like the first world building psychic space exercise that i did um and it's kind of um I don't know if you've you've probably watched at least watched a movie um version of Alice in Wonderland if not if you've read Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass um I found a or I was gifted a magnifying glass that doubles as a necklace pendant and um I was kind of playing with a lot of mirrors and just kind of like that uh topsy-turvy world aspect um Wonderland aspect and so that's kind of what I was going for. Here is a um, Hail Mary 
Queen of the Earth spread with mushrooms because I love mushrooms. I'm also experimenting here with mark making, um, which you'll tell in like my earlier pages is not something that I did a lot of. Okay, let's see if I can fit this in. So this is um, after I finished we, uh, Be Here Now by uh, Ram Das. I went ahead and did this spread. Um, it says, we're all just walking each other home. It's a quote from him. Um, I also was spending a lot of time watching the, all of the Studio Ghibli movies. So um, I had just watched Howl's Moving Castle and I wrote, there's a moving castle with on all, within all of us, come home. Um, and it just says, be here now. So, you know, that's kind of like a self prayer reflection spread. Um, so I guess if I had to say anything about this book, it's kind of like my grimoire. It's, or I guess maybe a book of shadows because it follows me along this transformation process. It follows me along as I go through. Um, this is an Oracle card. It says, I am free to explore my creativity. And this is kind of like a creativity manifestation page. So creativity is a warm embrace. Creativity is my birthright. Creativity expands our soul and minds. Creativity is a rainbow bridge to source. And here we go. Another one where I flipped it. Um, this is some quotes from a TikTok creator, Lovejoy Paradise, that I like to follow. Um... <clears throat> And more quotes from Ram Dass. And this was about the time that I did a, my first timeline jump meditation where something really profound happened. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of when I started to embrace that I was kind of going along this path that wasn't fitting into the mold of, like, what I saw other people and other creators doing. Um... And I guess not really trying to define it, because uh, I think that's one thing, especially in spirituality and in crafting, is that we're constantly trying to define what we're doing. And I don't think that's helpful. Um, here we have a strength tarot card. Um, embrace the weird, befriend the absurd, celebrate the strange. Uh, just trying to like step into being authentic yeah this is some journaling about um stepping into the authentic power and it says i am free to be myself that is another thing i've learned especially as somebody who's had um undiagnosed adhd is that i've kind of been hiding under people pleasing this says magic is everywhere magic surrounds me in every moment the more i believe in magic the more magical my life becomes um but one of the things that has really helped me kind of uncover layers and dive deep into myself has been this journaling process. Um, this is kind of um, like an alchemical spread. It's setting me up for change. It's setting me up. I wanted to be a writer since I was a kid and I spent a lot of years not writing because I was under the impression that I really needed to wait until I got so much of my... Um, education under my belt and so because of that um so because of that I spent a lot of years not writing and not pursuing writing um and I just think that it wasn't helpful to my growth and it really helped me back in a lot of ways and I still deal with a lot of imposter syndrome related to that so this is a spread for my inner child it has some affirmations on it it actually is a picture of little me dressed up um, it's on the 2222 portal day that we had last year. It's got some sigil magic and it's just kind of um, embodying like the rainbow mushroom tea party, all the stuff that I was really into as a kid um, that I thought was really interesting and fun. Um, so this is more manifestation pages having to do with my timeline jump. More sigil magic here with owls and mushrooms and flowers. It says, she was an adventurer at heart, but oh, how she loved drinking this tea from this mug in this chair. Oh, how she loved to be home. And the source is unknown. More sigil magic. A lot of um, symbolism. I find incorporating sigils into as many things as I can to be a really helpful way to just layer energy. And there's... Um, 
more information about like layering energy and what all of that means in the zine that is available in my Etsy shop. The link is below in case I didn't say that. So I had just gotten my pulley printer here and that's, you're seeing a picture of my statue for Our Lady Undoer of Knots and I printed out a copy of the Hail Mary because that was pretty big for me. Um, here is another self-acceptance page. It says, I am bold and inspired. I am a writer. I am anchored in this reality. I am loved by our mother. Um, and it has, you know, I let self-acceptance free my spirit. Just kind of about, again, being comfortable with who I am. This is an inspiration page spread. Um, there was a creator I was following that was talking about an acid fairy. Um, and I had come up with this idea, this story idea that I've kind of put on the back burner, but it has to do with the fairies. And it has, you may be an acid fairy, but it's your job to knit the fabric of fate. So I was trying to incorporate my love. If you don't know, I knit and crochet. Um, so I was trying to incorporate that into um, like a writing idea so that I could kind of combine these things that I'm interested in. Um, here is a spread for Frahala, um, who is a German deity, I believe. Um, I am, I did my ancestry report and it had something, I know that I have a large um, German ancestry and that I actually um, have ancestors who were Pennsylvania Dutch. So um, that's kind of what I was going for here, learning a little bit about Frau Halle, um, things that reminded me of, I guess, that aesthetic a little bit. Um, this is a book that a friend gifted me called The Golden Thread. Um, that is all about the history of um, fabric and textiles. It's very interesting, but I am still reading it because I switch around books a lot. Okay, so this has an inner child oil that I designed for like a spell that I was doing. And then this has information on yellow auras and my neighbor Totoro, um, is my favorite st Studio Ghibli movie, so that's featured here. Um, and this sticker, specifically, I loved it. Kind of gave me, the backwards hat kind of gave me like an inner child vibe. It was a little playful, um, in my opinion. Um, but auras are something else that I've always been really interested in, and diving into that, um, into color magic and color associations has been really helpful for developing some of my skills. So this has, um, this is a gratitude spread. Um, and this has, this is actually a vintage tag that I picked up at an antique store and um, just more, basically a spread to make me happy um, with some new stamps that I had gotten. Um, so here is another obviously writing and book tea spread um my first wax seal actually i don't i think i took this off of an envelope of some stationery that i ordered sorry if i'm sniffling a lot my allergies are going crazy because the weather will not make up its mind on what it's doing and here's my page spread for um blue auras uh, calm relaxing intuitive you know it's just kind of talking about um and it talks about the first time i saw my aura for the first time um which was kind of awesome. I practiced at it quite a bit before I was able to get to the point. Um, this has to do with angels and specifically guardian angels, which I think a lot of people um, don't realize is still very much accepted by the Catholic Church. Um, and this idea that we all have our guardian angel who's out there has the guardian angel prayer and this fun sticker that made me think of um, angels and yeah, I really enjoyed that one. <clears throat> this is a fairy tale spread um, that I was doing just kind of for inspiration and um, just trying to like develop characters for more writing ideas. And that's kind of what led me to this. There's gonna be lots of spirals on this page because um, that's a lot of the inspiration that I get for um, writing and just my spirituality in general because I think a lot of it has to do with that inward spiral journey and more mushrooms always more mushrooms um here is another spread 
like a tea party um, book reading, kind of uh, honoring what I romanticized as an inner child or as a child and that I still hold dear as an inner child. Um, this idea of like sitting in a cottage in the countryside and like knitting all day and drawing and writing, um, something I'd still very much like to do even though I have, you know, world, real world responsibilities. Um, this is another inspiration spread for a story idea. I think it's the same story idea from earlier, but it's um, about a weaver named Margot, um, who is, I don't know if you're familiar with the mythology of the weaver, um, or I think it's spinning thread, the ones who, um, I think it's Greek mythology where they spin the thread and uh, cut the thread, and it's every thread is a person's life. Um, but I heard a mytho I heard some mythology about there being a weaver and they're weaving the fabric of life. So that's kind of like where I was going with it. Like I said, it's kind of on the back burner for right now. I don't know how I want to develop it as of yet. Um, but sometimes working it out creatively in a journal spread helps me kind of visualize and understand what it is I'm going to do and like channel the character a little bit. Um, so this is, I don't know if you guys are familiar, oh gosh, the name just totally, you get Sam the Sandown Clown. Um, if you listen to podcasts, Astonishing Legends is a great paranormal, um, podcast that covers like UFOs and ghost stories and, you know, just kind of like weird happenings. And this was specifically a story that was intriguing, especially because I hadn't heard of it, which a lot of people think is a hoax or like a kid made it up, but um, go look it up. Like I said, Sam the Sandown Clown. So I have a thing for clowns and just like the energy they have, the innocence, um, and just this playful attitude and the way that they're like so present in life. Um, and so I did a spread all about that. And here's more spirals and a sun card from my fairy tarot deck. Um, it's kind of honoring again, I think spirals and that inner journey, but also um, the idea of all of nature having, and what is it, the golden ratio, having that inner, having that spiral, uh, it showing up a lot in nature, and fairies having to do with nature, and having the other world that they're from being such a trip, uh, like such a trippy experience, it just seems like they're all related in a way, and so this was a spread kind of for the fae, a little bit, but, um, this is even more so for the Fae. It actually, this is a spread from a fairy book that I had gotten and a vintage fairy page. Um, I have, I've always been, obs and there's, there's a wax seal that I did. Um, here we go. This is um, a poem that I wrote. I am the priestess of wind, subtle and fierce. I howl my rage and my pleasure. I hold back gusts only as I see fit. Um, so kind of like an emboldening, like building my power type spread and poem. Um, here is a fun spread again, that has a little bit to do with that ideal of just hiding away in a cabin or a cottage and doing the things that I truly want to do. Um, it also just has some fun stationery. It kind of, you know, makes me happy. This is from some packaging that I got on a package from a friend. Um, here is another spread that has something to do with one thing that I found is that as I've been going along my spiritual journey and specifically as I've been studying different religions, spiritualities, modalities, all of that stuff is how interconnected everything is. Um, and that, you know, when it comes down to it, you have to follow really what's in your gut. Um, so I wrote this little affirmation here. Modalities are fluid, just like spirituality. You can trust the energy, follow the energy. So whatever it is that you feel in your gut um, is what's right. And that's kind of when I started developing this idea of inner temple building and just like specifically what I needed it to be. And here we have more spirals kind of um, associating uh, the planets and astrology a little bit and just kind of reflecting on the universe. Also some fun stamps that I got. You know, not every page is going to have like a super clear theme, um, but I think the important thing is that like when I'm making it, I get in the zone and it's kind of like a channeling 
um, experience and I slip into that um, altered state of consciousness, you know. Uh, this is a vintage postcard of the French com countryside, which I really liked. At least I think that's what it said. Like I said, it's been a while since I've looked through any of this. I got a bike last year, so I really was excited to use that sticker. Um, I did some bike riding. I'm excited to get back to it when the weather warms up. And, okay, this I do know. This is Lace and Whimsy Studio. This is when I first discovered, like, when I first discovered their shop, I ordered a whole lot of stickers um, and everything, and there's one of their zines. And so this is just kind of ethereal, dreamy aesthetic. Um, this is another storyboard page manifestation project. It's um, a book idea that I've been working on called um, Moonbeams Tea and Gift Shop. It has to do with a gift shop that's on the outside of a portal, um, one of the only portals in the universe that takes you to different dimensions. This is a quote from my one of my favorite poets, Jared K. Anderson, your choices outweigh your substance. Um, I think if you are familiar with poetry on Instagram, you might have, and even if you're not, uh, The Crypto Naturalist. They also have a podcast. They have a couple books. I have both of them. They're fabulous. Um, here is a Fool Energy spread. I think this is kind of what I did. I think this is the spread that I did during Creativity, which is um, lightning bolt workshop. I have the full tarot card from my fairy deck here. And honestly, this is like the energy of the fool of the tarot deck, in my opinion, like this trickster fairy, like just diving in unbridled energy, ready to see what happens, laughing the entire time, at least in my opinion. Um, here is a spread kind of related to the queen of cups. Um, says, nobody asked why I was drowning, so I learned to say, swim and save myself. Uh, this is one that I've done a little bit more recently because I took off and started working in other journals after I did this spread and this one. So this is one that you maybe have seen on my Instagram page recently, and it's got some symbols that I have designed recently. So then we're going to skip forward a little bit. I've got some blank pages here, but one aspect that I was working in was um, learning astrology in this journal and kind of journaling about it. That's one thing that I like is that if you're not somebody who wants to take notes, but you like to have something tangible from the things that you study, journaling is another way that you can do that. So this is my spread for Aries season. Um, you know, it has some very basic information, uh, colors, associations, things like that. And then here is my Taurus spread. Um, I actually did a Pooley printout of um, some of the information from one of my astrology books. And I just really, I left off from there. I decided that I wanted to wait and try to journal and do spreads along with the season that we are currently in. And kind of like trying to write and embody what I am experiencing versus the energy of that season and just pay more attention. Um, it's kind of along the lines of my goal of doing the um, working more with the lunar cycles. Okay, so the first part of the journal was really the prayers aspect and this is more of the portals. This is more what um, I'm talking about in this zine, which has to do kind of a little bit with path working, um, guided meditation and um, setting up psychic spaces for yourself. So like choosing my images, writing things out. Um, this is the Hall of Mirrors, which is related to the looking glass world that I was talking about earlier. I've got some sigil magic um, incorporated. Here's like my first uh, journey to the underworld that I did. And I really like how it turned out. The moth, again, getting incorporated, very important. Obviously, it's in my username. Um, one of my spreads of time that I spent talking to Mother Mary. Uh, this is kind of like Mushroom World, um, which sounds a little weird, but I mean, it just sometimes is about creating something that is fun for you. Um, more of the underworld, follow the moth to death city. Um, a lot of visualization goes into this um, and a lot of uh, outside, again, the zine really dives into like what my process is and different things that you can add to your own personal process so that you can do it yourself. Here's some more sigil magic for my underworld journeys. Um, and sometimes it's just about getting that um, 
really getting that imagery down. Um, I don't have aphantasia, which is the inability to visualize, um, but I do have, because of my issues with drinking and drug use, I have issues with visualization. And so this process is really helpful to me. So if you struggle with the visualization aspect in meditation, this could help you. That zine could help you at least. So this I called the land of amalgamation. And it's just like a lot of stuff that I'm really interested in that always fascinates me. Things like that. And Totoro. And this is the Neptunian spread that I did. I put it under the portal section because um, it was kind of like transporting um, to Neptune. There is a book that I've been reading called uh, Visionary activist astrology. I've been listening to the audiobook and it's the first time that planets in astrology have really clicked for me. That and watching Sailor Moon. A lot of the associations seem to be kind of on point. Um, but to this little poem here says, rip open your soul in the gentlest way and befriend your dreams. And it just has a lot of Neptune energy. Um, there's the Pisces symbol. I'm actually a Pisces moon in my astrology chart. So this is um this was a really fun spread i was really excited about it and i was excited to share with you guys because it inspired me to get back into this specific journal after taking some time away from it for a while and that is all that i have like i said i am still very much working in this journal this is the journal where if i do a spread and it's something that i'm meditating on even if it's just an idea or an aesthetic or a theme, I will put it on my altar, open it up to a page that I want to meditate on, put it on my altar. Um, and if you want to learn more about this practice, you can head to my Etsy shop and pick up this zine. I have limited copies available. Um, and if you are not, if the cost is not accessible for you, or you're not looking to spend money right now, you can, um, shoot me a message on Instagram, or you can leave a comment here, um, and I can discuss setting up a trade. I'm open to trades. I want everything, if anybody is ever interested in something I offer, I want it to be accessible for them in whatever way that makes sense. Um, yeah, and I think that is about it. I appreciate you guys checking this out. I hope you have a lovely week. Happy Monday. Okay, bye.